SOLIDWORKS 2015 has introduced many enhancements for weldment design. First, let's look at the structural member feature. New visual highlighting identifies the active group in yellow and others in purple. Tool tips are provided to help identify which group each member belongs to. The corner treatment dialog has been redesigned to make it easier to define the order in which members get trimmed. All groups are listed in a single page along with their trim order and the selected group is highlighted in yellow. This dialog is now non-modal so you can manipulate the model to visualize the corner treatment before accepting. Gussets can now be created between members that contain gaps such as these two tubes. They can also be created between a plate and a member with a radius. Gussets are now supported between cylindrical faces such as these pipes and between cylindrical and planar faces. For this case, we just need to provide a reference to orient the gusset around the pipe. End caps have now been enhanced and now can be created internal to a structural member. Define the thickness and the inset distance from the end. The offset value defines the gap between the edge of the end cap and the inside of the tube. Notice that when a section is cut of this tube, the end cap perimeter is cut normal to eliminate any complicated machining requirements. When creating weld beads, users now have more flexibility to define the required weld. The weld bead feature now supports welds across multiple bodies. It also allows creation where multiple weld beads would be created from the selection. Oftentimes, it's necessary to create welds on a single body, such as in sheet metal design, to close a corner or to create a seam in a rolled column. These types of single body welds are now supported with SOLIDWORKS 2015. When weld beads need to jump a gap, these can now be created using the weld path option and selecting edges. Or, for those particularly nasty welds, even a sketch can be used to define the path. For those models with many weld beads, there's now an option to suspend the rebuilding of welds to increase performance. There's now an option to keep the cut list up to date automatically. The previous automatic option only grouped the items into cut list folders. This new option will ensure that the cut list is up to date all the time. In fact, there are now options to create the cut list, keep the cut list up to date, create the derived configurations and their as welded as machine descriptions, and an option to rename the cut list folders with descriptions of the items it contains. Watch how the cut list updates. Now that makes it much easier to recognize. The cut list properties have been enhanced, and now a quantity and total length property are created automatically. These properties can be very useful in bills of material, cut lists, and in annotations on drawings. For manufacturing, users often want easy access to weld prep or machined features, but these are often scattered throughout the feature tree and cannot always be grouped in folders. These features can be added as favorites and now grouped into subfolders, providing easy access to these items. And finally, if you need to save your weldment as an assembly, SOLIDWORKS now creates multiple part instances instead of separate parts for each similar body. Give your assembly a name and tell SOLIDWORKS to create the parts from similar cut list items. Choose individual parts to save or auto assign names for all the parts. Cut list properties can be propagated to the new parts and that's it. SOLIDWORKS creates the assembly and all the parts. Selecting these parts in the weldment assembly clearly shows that the same part is assembled multiple times.